Premium Adventures was in San Diego, California when the Royal Polaris returned from an 18-day trip to the Hurricane Bank. What's up, Roy? Hey, how you doing? I gotta be good. An absolutely incredible trip with 15 fish over 200 pounds, a 358 pound yellowfin tuna, and too many over 100 pounds to Hotel count. Fishing in Ensenada is broken wide open. It looks like it's going to be a great weekend. Reggie went out with Big Eye Sport Fishing and Captain Javier. Limits of yellowtail, 15 to 25 pounders. And out with Arnie Man. Man, look at this angler. He is really getting pushed to the limits. And Arnie Man is all over him, telling him he's not going to help him. And then Arnie says, hey, you know what? I've got a solution. How about we take these dikes and we cut you off? Well, the angler refused. He decided to fight away and he put on another big yellowtail. Full speed yellowtail action. And it's another Baja California Norte. I sure hope you can get down there this weekend. Hey everybody, welcome to beautiful Ensenada, Baja California. And from Botes Juanitos, two beautiful ladies with us here. Berenice and Norma, good to see you guys as always. Hello. And of course, her daughter is out there, Berenice's daughter, Paulina, is out there trying to catch fish. She's already got a nice, big, beautiful spotted bay bass. And the guy behind the camera, Marcus, he caught a nice, big, fat Corvina. So it's really fun here so far. There is a beautiful environment. Kids are playing. It's really, really nice and friendly. And we're hoping to catch more fish as the sun is setting at the exact same time the tide is coming up. So stay tuned for more Friedman Adventures here from the beach in beautiful Ensenada, Baja, California. Hey, good Saturday morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, where it's a little dreary. It's overcast, a little cold. There's a slight breeze blowing, but it's anything but dreary out on the water right now. It's a not a rocking and rolling with Hurel. The yellows are biting down there. Uh, they had a fabulous day for all the pongeros in Ensenada yesterday. Bluefin tuna, yes, they're nibbling. The new Loan has fish on the deck. As we speak, we'll get you caught up on all of that. There's tremendous rock fishing, some really good halibut fishing going on, and the surf also very lively. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me that if back there you see some dolphin feeding really close to the beach. I saw them when I first walked out here this morning. You know what time it is. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Oh, that warms the soul, I must say. It is great to be with you all. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to check with us here on the Morning Briefing. Don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend. Of course, subscribe to the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. And don't forget to tick the bell. Go back there and tick the bell. You'll be notified when there's breaking news or new content. Also, you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Apple Podcast and Spotify. It is great to be with you all. Yesterday, I was down in San Diego watching the return of the Royal Polaris after a completely fantastic, wonderful 18-day trip. A 358-pound, beautiful bluefin tuna highlighted a magnificent trip where they were in double digits on the 200-pound yellowfin tuna. And they really had so many fish over 100 pounds, they didn't even bother to count them. Really great to see so many friends down there yesterday. I got to see Frank Lopreste, Roy Rose. Of course, I got to see Pete Gray from Let's Talk Hookup, and so many other great people, including Jonathan Yamante, the new owner of the Royal Polaris. Wow, what a scene it was. There were so many fish being unloaded. And of course, I enjoyed my time. And we're going to release more videos on that great unloading of the Royal Polaris after that 18-day trip down to Hurricane Bank. I guess I'm kind of skipping ahead to the Long Ridge Report because 
Hurricane Bank was fabulous. Located about a thousand miles south of San Diego. It's a long run. 18 day trips are the way to make it happen. They also had Wahoo. I saw a rainbow runner in there and various other species that inhabit that region known as the Hurricane Bank. Wow, what a great unloading it was yesterday. And so many wonderful people. It was really a lot of fun for yours truly. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go south the border to Ensenada, Baja, California. I was down there a couple of days ago. We saw the yellows on its for real sport fishing, but they just didn't want to bite. But you get a lack of wind and a little more solar warming. The water temperatures start to come up a little bit. And those yellows went on the bite for everybody yesterday. We saw some tremendous scores. Black fin sport fishing. Nacho running one of the pongas out of there and doing a fantastic job. Just putting the wood to the fish. I tell you, it can't get much better. Throwing the iron. The fiero is perhaps the best way to get a bite in Ensenada right now. We also saw Arnie Man with a great day yesterday. He was screwing around with an angler on board. The guy was just getting his butt kicked on a big hotel, on a big yellow. And Arnie took his dikes out and said, you want me to cut this thing off and uh, free you of your misery? And of course, the guy said, no, get away from me. And uh, landed another beautiful fish. And Reggie Wynn was down there, a friend of Tyler Tanaka. He was fishing with big eyes sport fishing. And they had a fabulous day. The yellows are on the bite in the Bahia de Ensenada right now. And if you're thinking about making a drive down there, now would be the time to do it. It's located 70 miles south of the border. There's several great places to fish. And another one of those places is Botes Juanitos, where our friend Foca runs out of there. And if you'd like to book with Foca, just send Paulina for life. You know Paulina, my co-host in Mexico. Paulina for life life on Facebook, send her a message and say, you want to go fishing with Foca? She'll get that all organized for you. Great fishing down there. And you know, the other day, in addition to this, we were out with it for real sport fishing and the yellows weren't biting. We went in and caught all kinds of sand bass and rockfish and so much more. That was so much fun. So there are several backup plans and there is plenty of great rock fishing in the vicinity also. But I know everybody's focused on that yellow bite and it was Really fantastic yesterday. I don't know how it can get much better than it was. New low ant on some bluefin tuna late last night, early this morning. They are catching some fish. We'll be checking with the Independents and several other boats if in post-production on the morning briefing. When I'm editing this, I get any new news, I'll put it in text right there below. Special updates throughout the day. If we get any information about the bluefin tuna that has been biting, let us characterize the bluefin tuna bite and not lose the forest for the trees. Let's look at the big picture of what we have been seeing. And for the past couple of weeks, there's been very little bluefin tuna seen or caught. But the American angler a few days ago kind of broke that up with a catch of 22 bluefin tuna at night. Nice hit for them. And a sign of things to come. We're not quite sure yet. We're going to have to wait because there were guys that missed, didn't catch a darn thing, didn't see much. Then the Independence scratches out six bluefin tuna in a four-hour drift. They saw fish boiling. The fish put on a good show. Seemed like there was a little bit of volume there. Fish were really line shot. They didn't want to bite anything over the 30-pound fluorocarbon, and that meant with the grade of fish they were fishing, 40 to 60 pound fish, that you were going to have long battles and you were going to have a lot of losses. And that's what they have. But they got six fish on the boat. And that's where we find ourselves now with the new low and getting some fish last night. Didn't sound like a big hit, but we'll update you. We'll keep you up to date as they were still fishing, of course, as we're going on along. And my son Philip is out right now on the Excalibur on a two day trip. So I'll be getting reports from Philip. And we'll find out exactly where we go from here. Some of that fish, as I mentioned, caught in the daytime. Lighter floral has been the key. I'm not telling you not to bring your 60 pound, but you definitely want to have some 25, 30 pound with you in case you run into that finicky bite. And at night, two to 400 plus gram jigs have been working best of all. We'll see if we can build on this a little bit more. Not too far from home either. Easy day and a half range. Easy day range, actually. 
but day and a half gives you the night bite, and that's, of course, what you want to get in on right now. So good signal. We'll see if we can build on it. Several misses also, so we're not quite there yet, but hopefully we are pointed in the right direction. Taking a look around the Southern California bite in general, let's talk halibut. Pretty good halibut day in SoCal yesterday. We continue to see the halibut fishing in, uh, improve as we go along. We're into a really good um, situation right now. Moving up on a full moon, a grunion run on the horizon, and that gets things really, really active. And I'm telling you, we've seen so much life here in the Southern California surf recently. Some birds up here picking pelicans, and I've seen these dolphin in on the surf. Maybe you've seen them behind me while I've been chatting with you all, it really does look lively. So we've seen uh, good halibut fishing on the Pride. They had 17 halibut. The Blackfish, a yacht out of Davies Locker, Newport Beach, had seven halibut. Coral Sea Santa Barbara with 17 halibut. And of course, the Native Sun out of 22nd Street had a couple of halibut. The Endeavors had great halibut hits here recently. And of course, the Island Spirit and the Californian. Those guys, Endeavor, all those guys out of Ventura sport fishing, they not only focus on some great rock fishing, which I'll get into in a moment, but they give that a look every single day. I'm talking the halibut and the white sea bass. Now, speaking of white sea bass, no big scores here recently, but talk about sitting on a powder keg, especially in the Channel Islands right now. It could erupt elsewhere also, but up there in the Channel Islands, Tucker McCombs on board the Endeavor has been seeing great evidence of white sea bass. Aloha spirits men see it, those fish also. They have been looking around, finding fish that have been reluctant to bite. So hopefully one of these days very, very soon, that bite is gonna click on and really start to go. We're watching that for you very, very closely. Rock fishing, great, from San Diego, from Ensenada, all the way up there to Ventura and beyond. We continue to see great fishing. The Navigante out of Redondo Sport Fishing, a Bob Sands charter just put the wood to some awfully big and delicious and colorful eating rockfish. And we are seeing those kind of scores just about everywhere we look. The El Patron, out of Long Beach Sport Fishing, slammed Catalina Island for limits on the rockfish. The El Patron carries these really light loads and fish hard, beautiful, fast boat out of Long Beach Sport Fishing. And I believe they have a little bit of room on Sunday. If you want to take advantage of that, I highly recommend you go to www.longbeachsportfishing.org and grab one of those final spots because it is on and the weather is great. When I talk weather, I don't care whether it's overcast, I'm talking about the ocean surface and it is beautiful here this morning. As you hear the birds chirping, indicating that they are on some bait fish again in the surf and I can see that happening behind me. So great rock fishing, San Diego base boats, Newport base boats. I mean, everybody, okay? So Long Beach base boats, San Pedro, 22nd Street Landing, Freedom ran their first trip of the year out of 22nd Street, had a Really great day of fishing. So that is all sounding really, really good on the bottom grabbers right now. If you have income tax needs, you want to turn to our buddy, Tim Marquez, who's in Texas right now, and rubbing it in on the beef ribs. I'm on the carnivore, and Tim says, man, the beef here is to die for. Give Tim a call, and he'll handle all of that for you. And heating and or air conditioning needs efficient heating and air conditioning. John Lopez is your man. Give him a call here today. All right, so some really good rock fishing going on up and down the coast. Our bass bite, I'm talking sand bass, calico bass, really excellent sand bass down there in Ensenada, but it has yet to really turn on up here. And what is a function of oceanography, or more specifically, water temperature? We need to get up over 60 degrees, and then when we start to get up to 65 degrees, you'll see the calico bass and sand bass bite turn on here, and hopefully we'll get a wave of that migratory sand bass that moves in here. You know, I've got to tell you, down in Ensenada, when we were catching those sand bass two at a time, we would be winding our fish up to the surface and there'd be eight sand bass following the hooked fish. Just like the old days here on the Huntington Flats for you old timers who remember that kind of stuff. So that was really exciting. I loved seeing that. All right, surf fishing. Don't forget big fish bait and tackle down there on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard. And Pacific Coast Highway, they've got all your bait needs 
This would be a lot of fun to fish today. Throwing a little chrome crocodile or a Castmaster, three-quarter ounce would get bit here. I've got to tell you right now, great surf fishing. And I've got to take my hat off to the surf fisherman down there in Rosarito Beach who caught that beautiful striper yesterday. That is a beautiful catch. My hat's off to those great anglers. Chris Rank down there around Newport Beach, Calico. Chris, good morning. Great to see you. And his buddies, Javier and Cali himself, all having some great fishing in the surf down there in that neck of the woods. And then it looks like Chris was out on a little boat and ended up with a nice leopard shark in addition to that. And the water temps are getting to the point where we're starting to catch a few more Corbina right now. RK Toji with five Corbina in the California surf yesterday. The Corbina are starting to move up on the beach and starting to feed, and they are in that short water. In fact, see that wave right there? I'm talking like one, two feet of water inside of this next wave that is breaking. You're going to find Corbina in there. You'll find them on a long cast also, but more than likely those Corbina are going to be patrolling right through that white water right there because all that action, those waves crashing on the beach are dredging up sand crabs, are dredging up sandworms, mussels, clams, and those fish stage behind those breaking waves and then they move in. Right now, they're going to move in and search around and see what they can come up with. So there is some better surf fishing going on, and hopefully that is going to continue to head in the right direction. Don't forget, there is plenty of room this weekend to jump on a local trip out of Ventura Sport Fishing on either the California, which runs their full day trips, or the Island Spirit. Man, I'll tell you, they do such a great job at Ventura Sport Fishing. Don't forget, kids fish free on Sundays out of Ventura Sport Fishing all year long. So you can take advantage of that. Highly recommend you get up there and give them a try. We're thinking about jumping on the California next week. I'll let you know about that. Uh, we'll go out there and shoot a video and have some fun with Cody Rogers. That should be something to look forward to. 805-676-3474. Hey, I forgot to mention regarding the Corvina, you better be in the contest at Big Fish Bait and Tackle. All you got to do is have their ruler. You put it in the sand, put your Corvina down there, inscribe the date of the catch, take a photo and upload it to the Big Fish Bait and Tackle Instagram page. And man, they're giving away a custom rod that is absolutely beautiful every single month. The species may change, and we'll let you know about that right here on Friedman Adventures. But this month, it's the biggest Corvina. Gets that brand new custom rod. You do not want to miss out on that. Great time down there on the Royal Polaris yesterday. Blue fin tuna showing some signs of life on the new Loan. We'll see if anybody else is getting in on it as the day goes on. I'll have some more shorts and more information and more content for you here this weekend. Guarantee you that. And as always, I can't thank you enough for spending time here on the Friedman Adventures YouTube channel. Have a great Saturday, a wonderful weekend, and as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.